Damn, she's done. He's done. Look at him. What is up, YouTube? Jack's Lion here. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial for the game Ark Survival on how to edit the dino paints and the billboard paints and all that using GIMP. Uh, so there's three files we're going to want to download. One being GIMP and I'm going to put links to all this in the description. Um, then the second one is going to be this uh, arc paint and mainly I don't really like this program that much because it doesn't seem to always work that well but it's got the uh, the palettes that we need for GIMP in this zip file so we're gonna download this one and unzip that and then the file the program I like to uh, convert the PNGs into the paint files is if I can get it up here uh, this arc paint converter with the little pineapple logo uh, this one seems to be do a lot better about converting the PNGs into paint files so that being said um, download those then we're going to and I, I ex we want to extract into a folder you're gonna need these palettes in GIMP and the palettes come with that first zip file right there so let's open up GIMP gonna go Windows dockable dialogues and then we're gonna go down to palettes and well I already got it in here but I'll delete it and we'll do it again okay delete that and you right click we're gonna import palette then we want to go to palette file and we're gonna go to our palette folder and we're using GIMP and we want this arc GPL open that and then here you see the 25 arc color that that's the color of all the dyes you have in arc and we're gonna import that okay, and there we see that up there we select that and then we can close this out and then if you go over here to your colors and select this tab you can see all the colors we got to work with and you can select whichever one you want so then we need to get our template so let's go to open and we're gonna go to the arc paint the templates and we're gonna do a quetzal I believe so let's go to the Dyna folder and we'll go down to Quetzal and let's stretch this out and these images are kind of squished like that so let's make it a little easier to see we want to unlock this and change this to 512 okay now that's a little closer to what we need but we're gonna have to switch it back when we send it and then let's go to view and let's fit image in window okay now uh, and you can play around with this uh, sometimes it's kind of weird where you paint stuff it doesn't look right on the dinos but you gotta play around with it and see um, and different colors show up better black I haven't had that much luck with um, but 
like blue, red. They seem to blue, red, purple, white. Those seem to do pretty good. Uh, and we'll do uh, blue and red, I guess. And oh, oh, my bad. Okay, uh, so we're not painting over our transparent background. We want to right click on this layer and hit Alpha 2 Selection. And then you can go you know do however you want you can play with the letters and stuff and see I don't know some of it might wind up squished cover his feathers there in red Why am I using there? Let's go with the paintbrush. That'll be quicker. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. Okay. Um, let's change our brush size. And you can play around with this. There's lots of GIMP tutorials out there too. Um, I think I'll go with this airbrush again. We'll do some sort of funky stuff here. Now that's too light. Let's go back to the brush. Too thick. I'm going to do something quick here just so we can, you know, get it uploaded in the art. Okay. Oh. Okay, and that, we'll go with that for now. So then we want to go back our image and we need to shrink it back down so we're going to scale our image back unlock that and hit 256 scale okay now we should be able to export this I want to export it as and then uh, this part this section right here you cannot change but to name your paint you can change this first part and then we'll do red and blue and then we're gonna put that in in this folder right here and you can put it wherever you want but okay let's export that and then we're, we should be done here I don't want to save those. I'm going to discard that. Then, now I'm going to use that pineapple program, the converter exe. And I want to open my red and blue. And then you want to change this to whatever it is you're painting, which is dino. And then we save it. And I'm going to put it in this finished paint folder I made. Okay. Now we need to copy that to the arc folder. Red and blue. Copy. And the easiest way is to do that pull up Steam right click on arc survival evolve go to properties local files 
browse local files. Then we want to go shooter game. Saved. My paintings. And here's all the previous ones I had. You just want to drop it in there. Paste it. And then uh, we should be able to go into Arc now and paint her up. So I'm going to load up arc and I will be right back with all right we're back okay here's scooter in his uh, natural state plain Jane colors and uh, so we're gonna paint him up hit him with the paintbrush and then we want to load paints from this type and I already got the dyes and everything made up but Okay, we're going to do red and blue, and this shows all the required stuff, and if you're missing any of the colors, they'll show up down here. And uh, if you need to know how to make any of these, it's on the, the dyes wiki, which I can put a link in for, so you can find that. Helps out a lot. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit select, and watch it paint. She's done. He's done. Look at him. So there he is. You can kind of see how that plays out. I think I kind of missed a little bit of his feathers on his head, but whatever you get the basics you can play around with it find something you like that's really all there is to it well I believe that's it for today I um, mean you can do that on it in, there's uh, templates for all the dinos in there uh, you can go back and check and update if they add new stuff they're pretty good about updating uh, also they got templates for the all the signs and billboards and uh, I think the raft is in there whatever you want to paint and that's it so if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and do it daily so yeah thanks guys